What a fantastic second T20 international this has been from Kensington Oval Barbados. Here's player watch. And the two players we're going to look at is Rhys Topley from England and Akil Hussain from the West Indies. Akil Hussain, left arm spin bowler. But we're not going to talk about his bowling, even though he did bowl reasonably well. We're not going to talk about his batting. He walks to the crease when Fabian Allen, Fabian Allen is out 98 for seven and the 15th over. And boy, when the game was thought that it was England's for all money, boy, did he have a different idea. Along with Shepard, he hit three fours, four sixes, and he batted beautifully to get the West Indies close to what would have been an unexpected victory. On the other hand, Reese Topley finishes on the winning side, and I think deservedly so. First over, gets a wicket. He bowled with good aggression into length, swung the ball nicely. And his fielding to run out, Shy Hope, was unbelievable. Blocked it, ball coming back, even though he probably could have had an LBW. And then his ability, his agility to get up and shovel the ball towards the stumps and knock the bales off to knock the West Indian opener over was, was magical. And then he bowled a very, very tight 19th over. Saki Mahmood had 30, oh, 30 runs to defend in the last. Akil Hussein, well, he had his DL. He got 28 off it. And it was a fantastic day here at the Kensington Oval. Good win for England in the result form, but lots of questions to ask from Owen Morgan. On the other hand, the West Indies will be disappointed at their start of their batting lineup. But if they can get that right, the power that they show at the back end is immense. And you've got no idea what totals that these guys could get. So that's it for Player Watch. We'll look forward to Wednesday when two players hopefully will make a name for themselves on either side in this great, great T20 contest.